Hey guys, welcome back to GTTV as we count down to E3 2010, and this week we're talking about Crisis 2. Joining me now is Nathan, who's the executive producer of this game. Let's get to the nano suit, which everyone remembers from Crisis 1. You had those four powers you could use throughout the game. You're changing it a bit for Crisis 2, though, right? Yeah, what we did with um, Crisis 2 was we looked at how gamers would be using the nano suit this time around. When we finished Crisis 1, we expected people to use the nano suit powers and, and combo them off each other. But what we didn't expect is that people were creating styles of gaming. So what would happen is people would combine suit powers in a way to play like a predator, or play like a superhero, or play like a tank. Now we're supporting that fully in Crisis 2 through the default implementation of what the nano suit has to offer. So do you have the same four powers people can use in Crisis 2? You have all the same powers that you had in Crisis 1. Uh, they're all there, but they're combined already together for you in certain ways. So people like the ability to run fast and jump, we put those together. That's on the base nano suit by default. You still have the ability to cloak and you still have armor, but then th even those are expanded further out to push okay. the core away. So this is nano suit 2.0, right? So yeah. what's new in the nano suit? Any new powers that have been upgraded? Um, we've expanded the core out further on all the nano suit powers. So you know, uh, beyond just stealth, when you're when you're in stealth mode, there's a lot of things that support the way that you play extra nano suit powers. One of the big things that we're doing in Crisis 2 that wasn't in Crisis 1 is we allow you to customize the nano suit. So what we're not doing, it's not about paint schemes or color or anything like this. It's meaningful changes to the suit. So you imagine you have like some modules that you can turn on and choose what you're doing. Much in the same way in Crisis 1, we allowed you to customize your weapon. You can do the same with the nano suit. So when you're, if you want to play in a stealthy style, you choose modules to equip that enhance that style of gaming even further. So how do you do that? Is there a loadout for each mission, or can you change midstream? Yeah, you can change on the fly. So what we think uh, players will be doing when they use the nano suit this time around is they'll look at the, the gaming landscape, you know, the, the area that the, um, the enemies are in, and then much like in, this, in the original Crisis, how people would change, uh, like put a grenade launcher on or change a scope or something like this to change their weapon, they'll look at the same problem and go, okay, well, how can I optimize the nano suit to do the same thing? So it sounds like you can play the game however you want based on how you set up the modules of the suit, right? Yeah, the core powers will always be there, so if at any time you want to play like a sneaky guy and sneak around and, and stab people in the back and, and play you know, more like a, a ninja or a silent killer, um, you, can, you can play that way. But if you want to jump right into huge action and have grenades and rockets and explosions going off around you and, and survive you know, eight people shooting you at once, then you can do that as well. So are you going to have a lot of vertical gameplay in this game? Um, the verticality is, is limited in the sense that you can't go into every story of a 50-story high-rise. Like that would just that would be a boring thing to do. There wouldn't be much interesting uh, things to do. But what you can do is, um, you know, within a gameplay space, because the suit is so powerful, you can basically move up and down one or two stories quite easily. So you can jump on top of trucks and then jump from a truck onto a low roof and run across a low roof, jump across a big gap. So there's a up and down aspect to the gameplay spaces, and the enemies that you fight will challenge that as well.